Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. This is a general reading. Okay, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Also, Energies are fluid, time is an illusion. So this message, just like all the rest of these messages, even the monthly messages are timeless. Okay, excellent. Also, sorry about yesterday. <laughs> um, I literally just did not get up in time. I like, I, like I mentioned, and if you didn't see my story, I posted it on my story yesterday on YouTube, but um, I, uh, Monday was my, one of my best friend's birthdays and we were partying all night. Like there was, it was a big party. It was so much fun. We all had a great time. She had a great time also. So that's really what matters. Um, and I didn't get home till like two in the morning and then I didn't wake up until like 10 to nine and I had class at 10. So morning coffee just was not happening yesterday. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But we are back in and we're doing the damn thing. Yes, so we're going to get into this general reading for today. Let's do it, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today. Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okie dokie. Well, I was seeing pink and purple. So divine love and divine wisdom um and it's not really giving me anything other than just those are the energies right now um those are the energies that we're surrounded by these are the energies to be honest that i'm channeling um unconditional love divine wisdom to help us integrate these energies but also integrate things that are going on in our lives so um that's pretty fitting. I'm not getting anything specific from them other than just there's, there's, they are the supporting energies around us right now. So that's a good thing. And I kind of feel like, yeah, they always kind of will be. But you know what? That's okay. Anyway. Okie dokie. Tuesday, May 15th. One more shuffle. And then ha, we'll see. What we've got okay so the two of cups just caught my attention balance between masculine and feminine within but also a counterpart or a soulmate a relationship let's see what else comes out here tuesday may 15th spirit please best messages tuesday may 15th Tuesday, May 15th. Hmm. Okay. All right. Overall energy here, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okie dokie. Well, that's a nice thing. Um, interesting. Leave those upright. Okay. I'm going to start with this. We have the Page of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Then we have the Page of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So we're talking about the feminine here today. Feminine energies. Feminine counterparts to the masculines you have a choice to make some of you are very much in love 
Some of you are feeling the love. Others of you are just aware of the emotions around you. Empathy. I'm getting this from the Queen of Cups here. Okay. Um, oh, jeez. You do have a choose a choice to make here. So you're in your energy. You're in the dreamer energy here. Page of Cups. Okay. Um, and I, I feel like you've been focused on, or you have been fantasizing about a masculine energy, a masculine counterpart. Someone that you would like to s spend your life with. This Queen of Pentacles energy here is very much the homemaker, um, is the wife and mother. The and, and this is just energy, okay? So we're, I'm just talking about this from the feminine counterparts, from the feminine side, yes? You can be male and still resonate or be of the feminine disposition. Uh, take me, for example. I am much more on the feminine side of things than I am on the masculine. Even though I do have masculine energy within, I resonate more with the feminine. Okay, so there you go. But um, what I'm getting from this Queen of Pentacles is, especially also with the Ten of Pentacles, um, whoever I'm channeling for here, if this is resonating with you, you're in a very much wife, mother, homemaker type of energy. Wanting to settle down, wanting to potentially get married and have kids, um, start a family, maybe even continue a family if you already have kids. Um, wanting to have the home life, wanting to have the family life, wanting that stability and solid relationship and foundation with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. And for some of you, that may be a new-ish development um, you may have just recently come into that realization that you may want that or you have redefined it for yourself or you are redefining it for yourself. And so that's leading you in this new direction with this new desire or passion. Cre uh, this is the Page of Wands here. To me, the Page of Wands is about self-discovery um, sometimes. And that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, and it's not even like, it's like, uh, rediscovering this situation or this type of relationship, this relationship dynamic, or getting inspired towards moving towards that, okay? Now, you are moving in that direction, the Knight of Pentacles, slowly but steadily. However, you have a choice to make. You're needing to weed through the options, the illusions, the things that you do and do not want. You're having to define that as you're in this dreamer energy, page of cups, and you're needing to choose which one, what you want to move forward with, okay? Some of you might have options. Some of you might be talking to, you know, a number of p different people, um, which is not a bad thing. I don't, please, I'm not throwing any shade. I'm not passing any judgment, but like, you know, keeping your options open is what that's called. I mean, unless you have, and I feel like unless you had something that really would be in greater alignment with what you truly desire, you'd, you'd most likely commit to that one, release all the other options, okay? Now, with this Ace of Pentacles energy, I feel like you are maybe getting ready to offer something to someone. And that could just be you settling into the energies of being ready physically and emotionally to hand over your pentacle of commitment. Okay, now you're also in the process of aligning with or getting ready to accept an offer to come in. Okay, but you have to be open and willing and ready for it. You also have to, this is also why it's imperative for you to figure out what it is you actually truly do want. So that once it's here and presented to you, you can recognize it and say, okay, there it is. I'm ready. Let's take it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're gonna get into the clarification section now. We're using the Epic Tarot today. All right. So for this feminine side here, we're gonna get some clarity. I do want to, let's talk about the Seven of Cups specifically. That's the energy between the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands. That's the energy that's saying you need to make a choice here. You need to define what it is you absolutely want. Okay. The manifestation is coming. You just have to define what you want. So for some of you, you might be in a situation in which you are entertaining a number of people in an effort to really figure out who would be the best match or entertaining a different, different circumstances, different um, settings or whatnot to try and figure out what it is that you do want. Excellent. If that's the case, you are on the right path, okay? It, but it, it, it's just time to start really making a decision and defining what it is you want, yes? So we're going to get some guidance for that specifically. So we're going to start there. One more shuffle. And then we're going to get some clarity on the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands. How can you best make this decision? What is this decision? That you, what, do you, what do you need to decide between? We'll see here. Let's see here. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Underneath the deck is the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Well, that is quite profound. <laughs> that is quite profound because the deciding factor here is what is reciprocal? Who is returning? Who is giving an equal measure who is giving and receiving to you in equal measure then you also have i wonder if this is the king of swords yes it is the king of swords oh my goodness this fell on the page of cups okay so all right i'm just gonna say it this way some of you are a little bit in a little bit of a fantasy world um i mean the page of cups is the dreamer energy okay so that makes sense you're up in the ethers you're up in your head, you're dreaming about it, you're thinking about it, you're fantasizing, and that's a good thing. But now, the universe spirit is saying, if you really want to manifest this, then you've gotta bring it down into the physical. You've gotta take it from out of your head and down and ground it. Queen of Pentacles, you have to ground it, okay? So that means you have to get really logical and really honest with yourself. What is it that you truly, truly want? Okay, King of Swords. And this is a good thing. I mean, yes, the King of Swords is without emotion, okay? But that's kind of what you need right now. And it's definitely not the Queen of Swords, which is great. The King of Swords is the diplomat, okay? Is the one that's going to hear out all sides of the opinion, uh, of the equation before a decision is made. The, 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 the King of Swords is the judge, okay? The King of Swords is objective, is fair, is balanced, is, yeah. And he's literally only here in order for you to help make the best decision moving forward. What is it you truly want? What is serving you? What is reciprocal? I mean, I'm, I'm picking up, I'm picking up that for some of you, there's a strong fuckboy energy around you. And it may be a situation in which you were, you were entertaining it just because it was fun. You knew you, did, you knew you didn't really want anything serious from it. But now if you do want to get serious, you got to be serious with yourself about what truly is serving you. Okay. Okay, that's nice.
Okay. We're gonna, now we're going to clarify some of this Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands energy, Ten of Pentacles here. Please, Spirit. Five of Wands. Chaos. Four of Pentacles. What is happening here? Ace of Cups. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have Strength here. Strength. Interesting. Ooh, look at that. Okay. I am a little confused. Not gonna lie. We have the Five of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. There's chaos, there's confusion. Some of you may need to let go of some things. What I really think this is, aha, uh -huh, there it is. Some of you need to open up now. You've been closed off for a little bit. Um, you've been guarded. You've been, you've been, you've been protecting yourself. Strength. You've been protecting yourself. You've been guarded. You've been a bit closed off. You've been, you've been receptive, but you haven't been like completely open. To the situation you've been open just enough to say to to like kind of peak some let someone's interest be peaked blah 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 whatnot whatever some are you some of you are confused or conflicted about opening up for real i just heard fuck boyish some maybe there are some people around you that you don't necessarily want to open up to and that's fine but that's where that King of Swords energy comes into play. It's like if you don't want to open up to that, if you don't want to entertain that anymore, if you don't want to pursue that any longer, then cut it off. Just be diplomatic, be honest about it, be objective about it and say, I mean, pros and cons. Weigh the pros and cons if you want. Okay, you have here a really beautiful combination. You have the Ace of Cups. You have Temperance, you have the Chariot, and you have the Sun. Now, balance, yes, okay. Uh, patience, yes, okay. Uh, time, okay. All in Temperance. But with the Chariot and the Sun, um, for some of you, I feel like you're already moving in a certain direction. Like... It's almost as if you already have an interest in mind um, and that you really, really want to move forward with. For some of you, this is the energy of the, the what is actually the best option for you. And you may have known this already, and yet you weren't really making too much effort. I think it might be time to open up. There's been a good amount of restraint. But now I do think it's time to open up here. Some of you need to work on balancing out, getting balanced, okay. But for the majority of you, there's already, there's already a great deal of balance here. So that's why I'm really, I really want to encourage you, if you have an inclination towards something or someone that you want to potentially open up a little more to, no one is asking you to completely like throw open the floodgates here. We still have the, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles energy, slow and steady. But if you've been a little resistant or maybe a little bit confused or battling yourself as to whether or not you really want to open up, Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands. I think it's time to go. I think it's ready. You're, it's really time to, time to open up now. Time to move forward. And this goes for the masculine counterpart that could be watching this. Me, it, it's both time. Time for both of you to like, do it. Get started. Get the ball rolling. Start. Start communicating more.
Yeah, that's really all I'm getting there. That's really nice, though. So, okay, I want to do one more. I want to clarify this Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles energy. Whatever comes through. Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know why. I'm just being pulled in this direction to clarify this, so I'm going to do so. Just to see whatever comes out here. Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Some advice, I think. Three of Cups. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Oh. You see, and it's so funny. Um, underneath the deck, you have the world. Okay, this is the end of the reading, of, or the, the end of the clarification section, but completion, endings, cycles, over, karma. I'm hearing. Okay, so when I was channeling here, down here with the the clarifiers for the knight of pen the, the the queen of pentacles and the ten of pentacles all of this temperance chariot um the sun and the ace of cups i was feeling like you know how i was saying talk to each other get to know each other blah 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 i wanted to say maybe make some dates go out on dates with people with each other but i was thinking I, I, because i didn't necessarily see what that representative would be in my opinion that would be the knight of cups i didn't want to go that far but now Here's that Knight of Cups, okay? And it's coming out with the Queen. So I do think, and the Magician here, the Three of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Whoa. Oh my. Yes, Feminines, you do know exactly who you want. You know exactly what you want. And you know who it is, too. Interesting. The, 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 the magician energy is throwing me off a little bit. I mean, first of all, it's saying that, yes, in fact, you have manifested this. You are manifesting it. Now, for those of you who don't know what you want, the advice here is to stay in an open heart, stay in your heart center, stay focused on what you desire or at least what you know at this moment that you desire in a relationship and get in alignment with it yes that is going to do it that's going to manifest it for you then you have the three of cups here also which is a celebration a union of body mind and spirit you might actually be this person might be a part of a social circle for you like a common social circle. Also, some of you are, are actually manifesting a date, <laughs> which is cute. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, it's funny. Uh, even though even though in the beginning of the reading we were talking about how you need to feminines you need to make a decision what i'm getting now in this queen of cups energy is you actually really do know what you want but you're entertaining you're entertaining other people other situations potentially because of boredom maybe or just to pass the time, just to keep your options open, you know, just in case, just for shits and giggles. But I'm, I'm not asking anyone to put all of their eggs in one basket right away. What I am saying is, as far as what it is you want in a relationship, energetically, that sort of thing, I would say put your eggs in that basket on the energy side and then allow it to manifest. So invest in the vibration that you wish to be in best alignment with. And don't, and don't entertain or don't like waste your time with situations that do not vibe with that. Okay. Okay. Now, the world card here that has come out while clarifying this Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, what I was picking up on that before was that it is a, you know, a 
karmic release, karmic endings. There's a lot that has wrapped up for you, whoever is resonating with this. In this situation, there is a lot that is wrapping up for you. And a lot of it is really karmically based. So some of you are kind of in the energy of, I just wanna have fun, I just wanna have a good time. I'm really not trying to get too serious, but yet I am at the same time. Like I wanna be serious, but no one's really being that serious with me right now. So I'm just gonna play around for a little bit. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. But at some point you're gonna have to say, okay, time to settle down now. I know what I want. Let's, let's, let's work on manifesting that. If it's what you truly want, if it's not what you want, then don't listen to me. But if it is what you want, then at some point you're gonna have to get serious about it, okay? All right, well, we're gonna go with the whispers of love here for some clarity, or not clarity, for uh, oracle guidance. And then we'll close the reading with the crystal mandala deck. All righty, guys. So for the feminines that I'm channeling for here in this reading, best guidance in terms of this situation. Okay, here we go, guys. Best message, please, spirit. <laughs> One more card, please, spirit. There it is. Okay. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck, you have the only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. And that, I feel like, is connecting back to the Six of Pentacles that was underneath the deck when I was clarifying the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups and the in which the King of Swords came out. Um... Focus on love. Where is real, true love? Where is real, true appreciation? Where is real, true reciprocity and respect? Like, focus on that. Don't give your time, your attention, your energy away to something that isn't in that vibration if that's what you want, right? Then you have card number three, back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Perfect. And finally, you have card number 22, the heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. For some of you in this situation in which you have been connecting with someone that you're very aware is <laughs> very in love with you or you are very in love with them is very much a counterpart to you, but you two have been kind of closed off to each other. That's, I think, what this really is saying here. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize this, what, recognize what this is all about. So in that sense, recognize what your closed office was, has been about. If you've been in some sort of denial here and have been, have been like kind of, spirit is saying, cheating yourself in not allowing yourself to really be open with someone to, to entertain, to engage, Maybe you have way deeper feelings for them than you may have already allowed yourself to believe. I don't know who that's for, but that's coming through. Okay. And also recognize that if you do feel this deep bond with someone else, also understand that what's going on on the surface is not the full truth. But you have in this situation Either you have been or you need to rely on your intuition here. Queen of Cups. Because that will tell you the truth. And for the most part, you've known this truth the whole time. Both of you may have been denying it. Both of you have may, been, may have been a little stubborn. There may have been a good amount of restraint in the situation because the strength card did come out was underneath the deck while I was clarifying this section here. Okay. 
Oakley Doakley. Now we're going to close the reading with a message from the Crystal Mandala deck. Boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. All right, we're going to give this three shuffles and then we'll see what we've got. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit. There it is. Ooh, there are two of them. Okay. Card number 30. Ascended Master White Matthew and Dan Barite. Original self. <laughs> oh, guys. And then card number 11. Archangel Gabriel and Turquoise, safe to be seen. So for some of you, that is guidance that it is okay for you to open up a little. However, whatever is within your comfort zone, of course. Okay, original self is first. We bring you the blessing of original self. As you progress through your life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You grow more radiant and authentic, true to who you are, and as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty, so you discard it. Perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not, quote, get you, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others of the world and simply living your own original, radiant, divine self. That's nice. And finally, card number 11. Safe to be seen. We bring you the gift of safety in being seen. Over lifetimes, you have loved the earth, returning again and again to serve humanity, liberate the human soul from fear, and spe spread a message of love. You have spoken truths, shared messages, and inspired many. Yet in your visibility, sometimes you have felt misunderstood and vulnerable. You have been admired and loved, but at the same time also feared and attacked for the empowering message you brought to the world. In you, there is a memory of this, and although you wish to share your light with the world again, there are times when the thought of being seen doesn't feel safe. We are here to let you know that you are protected in divine grace. It is safe to open up to your inner knowledge and to share your message with the world. The light in you is stronger than fear. It is time to shine fearless and bright. Well, that sure is a very beautiful message. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, you had go, can go ahead and email me. Um, I don't, I didn't announce happy hour early in the beginning of the reading, which is something I normally like to do. However, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna do it today. Um, I'm sorry, hold on a second. Let me just check. Oh yeah, no, that's not gonna work today. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So, okay. So yeah, not today, most likely tomorrow though, all right? But I love you guys, I hope you have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning, yeah? Take care, Mwah. bye.